Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a problem. Welcome back to another episode of my life of fixing broken Nissans. It seems like that's all I do. As you saw from the first clip that my roof drains are leaking very badly inside of the car. So it's the driver's side and the passenger side that we're gonna fix today. So essentially what is happening, there's a rail that runs across the side all the way around like a gutter and it goes to a little hose and then runs down your A-pillar, goes to the firewall, through a hole of the firewall, and then the little plastic seal that's in there goes bad. If your Infinity is not leaking yet from the sunroof, it will, trust me, it's coming. So I would watch this video anyways, so you know in the future. The normal way of, of repairing this is to get way down in the back with a pair of pliers and try to get that little plastic deal out. And it's really a pain. A lot of people have problems with that, so I'm gonna go a different route. Should be a lot easier, a lot more simple. Let's move some cars around and we'll get started. So the game plan today is going to be tying into the roof drain somewhere in the A-pillar or right in the dash. So cutting the existing roof drain, putting in a barb, and then running it completely separately. We're going to basically create a new drain. It's, it's a lot more simple than you would think, and it's definitely a lot more simple than replacing the existing roof drain seals at the firewall. You either have to remove your dash completely or have some three foot long <laughs> needle nose pliers or something to get it's just everyone complains about it nobody fixes them so hopefully this is a way out that's going to work there's supposed to be a drain for your ac on the floorboard over here or we'll end up drilling our new holes whatever the case is but we're going to make a new roof drain system and i'll take you guys along with me so if you guys are having the same problem you can do the same thing Everything you need for this project should cost you less than $50. I bought 20 feet of 3 8 vacuum hose, or really any 3 8 hose will work, and some brass barbs and tees and just various little fittings. To start this, I'm gonna pull the weather stripping out on both sides. You just grab it, rip it down, and it should be good to go. Remove the A-pillar by grabbing on the side and pulling. Once you get your A-pillar pulled out slightly, if you look in here, there's a small green tab. You can either turn the tab sideways and pull it out, but I usually just get a pry tool and pull it out of the A-pillar framing itself. There we go. And then from there, you should just be able to grab it and slide it out. Once you get that off, it's gonna expose part of the airbag. Be careful around that. And then this is your drain that comes down from the sunroof. Um, it goes all the way down to the back of the firewall. Same exact thing on the passenger side. So essentially the idea is I'm going to cut it about here, put in a brass barb with some hose clamps, run an entirely new drainage system down to the floor and find an appropriate place to drill and dump that. So uh, that's the game plan. I pulled this trim that goes across the bottom. You just grab on the bottom, pull up, it comes right up. In order to pull the carpet to get a better idea of what is underneath it. And when you rip it back, sure enough, this is the drain for the AC system. Okay, I pulled this carpet back a little bit further and the drain goes up into the AC system here. I went ahead and cut the hose here. I feel like this is a good point to tie into. I'll just cap this off, tie it up, throw it in the dash, whatever. I have some of these T-taps laying around. This one is a 3 8 so I have confirmed that this hose is in fact a 3 8 I have 20 feet of 3 8 line, so that should work. So yeah, 3 8 barbs, 3 8 line. I grabbed 20 feet, which is probably too much, but 10, 15 will probably be plenty. I think I'm gonna take some of this hose and fish it down the same way this is going and see where it ends up.
Okay, so I fed our replacement hose down and it came out right here. There we go. So that's where I'm gonna tie into this at. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side and then we have to find out a way to get it over the top of the center console. All right, I did the same thing on this side. Ran the hose down the A-pillar behind the dash. Comes down and goes. So if you see the vent on your transmission tunnel, directly behind that, there's a gap and it goes all the way to the other side. So that's what I did. I'm gonna have this to where there's no slack and it's gonna be important that your run from up here all the way to where it's gonna go to the AC drain is a pretty much constant downhill slope. You don't want it to be going up in some places, otherwise it's not gonna work that great. So we're on the passenger side now. This is where it comes out. That's where your vent is at and then directly behind it on the transmission tunnel closer towards the firewall is where it comes out. So this is the driver's side line that's over there. So now I have both of them in the same area. I can tie into this line, reconnect it, and I'll be good. All right, we got our brass barb. And the same thing with this one. I was gonna use hose clamps, but I thought that would rattle around and make a bunch of noise. So there's no pressure in these. So we're going old school with the zip ties. And I'm gonna get this guy. Shove it down there like it never even existed. And this side is done. Okay, so this is the one that goes up to the passenger side. That goes over the transmission tunnel to the driver's side. I have them tee together, and then I'm gonna have it tee into the condensate drain for the AC. went ahead and I put the T in, ran some hose clamps on top of it just in case. That's it, and now we have new roof drains. This is the gutter I was talking about. It's down in here, it runs along the entire side. I'm gonna pour some water down here, set the camera down below the car and see if it actually goes out and if the floorboards get wet. Same way I took it apart, just in reverse, and we'll be done. I hope that helps somebody be able to fix their car who otherwise wouldn't have been able to. It's a much easier way, and you know for a fact you're not going to have to do it twice. If you like these kind of videos, let me know in the comments. If not, let me know what you would like to see. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more of these. Hit the notification bell. Do all that. You know the whole spill. That's it. I'll see you on the next one.